There you are. Yeah? Playing the PvP in your World War II shooter. Yes, sir. What, sir? And all of a sudden, you're a Nazi. Immediately, Commandant. You didn't ask for this. Jawohl, Commandant. You didn't choose this. I do without question, Claudius Commandant. <laughs> Yet there it is. Observe, Commandant. And it's treated no differently than playing a British soldier. Yo, yo. Is that... <laughs> I'm not using <laughs> it. It already feels wrong. Hey, so the, that thing you just said, uh, is, is it an admission on your part that the British Empire and its former colonies are not a historical litany of white supremacy? And that's what makes us different from Nazis. Because I quite agree. So anyone who goes around saying all white nations are racist or all white people are racist, then they're not acknowledging the important difference between Nazis and for instance, the British. And they will have you to answer to. Is that right? Extra credits. Are you going to have a back and forth about this with the charming folks at BLM? I'd love to see that little tete a tete. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's where all the down votes are coming from, eh? Who knows? When you're up for it, why don't you take, take on the open minded and wholly unsinister chaps and chapettes? at the University of Literally Anywhere. This is bad on so many levels. You asked for this enemy? No one should ever have a random chance of fighting for the Nazis. Except the people who were randomly born into Nazi Germany. Which is everyone who was born into Nazi Germany. And before anyone equivocates and says not all German soldiers in World War II were Nazis. I've been trying my hardest. Unless the game goes out of its way to tell you specifically that your particular character is not a Nazi, then they're a Nazi. Certainly, sir. Did it go out of its way to tell you that the person you're playing was pressed into service under threat of their life? Um, I know, I know you've, already to, you've already told us that pointing out the, the kind of distinction I'm about to point out is against the rules, but I feel I have to point out the draft is not a distinction that can be made between Axis forces and Allied forces, or indeed any given forces, before the mid-20th century or so. Until the draft was ended, that was how war wars were fought, by f forcing men to fight them on pain of up to and including death, or straight up just kidnapping them if you go back far enough. Not every side in the war, were, uh, the uh, 20th century war at least, uh, was white supremacists, but they did all have this quirky tradition of treating male citizens like state property. Only only one side was blatantly racist, but every side in just about every war has been blatantly sexist in that particular direction. The it doesn't matter what happens to men direction of sexism there. Arguably, this is why these wars keep bloody happening. Are you ever going to do a video about that, mein Kapitan? Yeah, that's a big old nope. I bring pain to your world. Oh, and on a similar note, let's please stop forcing people to play as terrorists as well. At once, Herr Horvost. You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Didn't choose it. D dude, do you have any idea how long it took me to find a PlayStation emulator? One that actually works without a load of faffing about it. It's a nightmare. But I would not stop. I would not eat or sleep until I found one that worked on my system because I had to play Hogs of War again. That's so how seriously and passionately I choose to play as Nazi pig soldiers. People do choose these things and they do choose games in which they know they're going to end up playing terrorists at some point. The random seed of which is indeed unchosen, but that's the point of a random seed. Try I could have done this video last week, by the way, but I had to marathon Hogs of War just a couple more times. Good lord, that was a good game. That gold standard, ladies and gentlemen. Aim, aim for the sky, and Hogs is where the sky's at. We can do better than this. For you, oh bust. Even if you put aside all of the people who have had traumatic experiences with these groups. Oh, hey, this will liven them up. Or who have had generations of their families wiped out by Nazis. I hope they have unclean pants. No one should have to put on the costume of an ideology they find abhorrent without actually opting into it in your game. Conning is needed. 
And by making people do so, we get them to stop thinking about it. <laughs> we can't have that. Come on. Imagine, imagine a world where anyone stops thinking about Nazis for two seconds. I mean, it's unthinkable. We normalize them. Uh-huh, maybe don't do that. We make them just window dressing for entertainment. Like, th maybe don't do this Nazi hysteria of yours, acting as though there are Nazis around every blind corner, calling people Nazis when they clearly are not Nazis. Maybe all that shit is making it look as though Nazis are normal. Maybe you haven't said these things recently, sir, but there are battalions of mindless thugs out there who say and do these things pathologically and or for a living. Maybe, just maybe, messes extra and credits and whoever else maybe at some point in your virtuous and compassionate career you should consider addressing a video to those people oh we will show them a blitzkrieg yeah those uniforms those symbols become things that no longer inherently revolt us they reduce our visceral reaction to seeing the embodiment of these ideologies army uniforms do not r revolt me <laughs> Let alone uh, inherently. What? War revolts me. Totalitarianism revolts me. Tyrannical identity politics revolts me. Swastikas and iron crosses do not. I am not disgusted or offended by four rotationally symmetrical capital letters slapped together on a piece of cloth because they are evidently and categorically never going to do any harm to anyone. Your problem there is the people wearing them, the bizarre ideologies they believe in, and the 1,300-ton railway gun they're about to park next to us. And I don't know anything about Hugo Boss as a person, but you go ahead and honestly tell me something wrong with those uniforms, because they were immaculate. Not to mention fabulous. Apart from the, the skulls, of course. <laughs> that, that, that was an oversight. Too far, I am a. <laughs> they figured this out in the Fourth Reich, though, so they don't use skulls anymore. On the contrary, they use the brightest colours they can find. Now they never figure out that they're the baddies. That, by the way, I do find rather revolting. People whose heads are so engulfed by the sulfurous walls of their own despotic rectum that they can't even handle the sight of a graphic logo without chimping out and telling everyone how to do their jobs. Because they do a great deal of harm. They are hell bloody bent on it. Maybe you're the one who needs to stop. <laughs> Does that offend you? Does that revolt you? being told to stop what you're doing. Are you learning any lessons about yourself yet? Fucking borderlines, man. <laughs> what are you going to do? Am I right? Now we wait. Oh, keeps it clean, eh? It means you might not take iron crosses all over a website as a warning sign that you should immediately leave. There war ends here. And if you don't leave, you might start reading and buying into hateful ideas there. I am the angel of doom. It seems like such a small and simple thing, but it's things like this that erode our safeguards against dangers we sacrifice so much to fight. Oh, not a minute, please. By the time you've played a hundred hours of being a Nazi, their voice stabs become memes and in-jokes with your friends. Try this one for size, you hound of hell! By the thousandth time you've respawned as a terrorist, you're either celebrating them or making fun of them. <laughs> and making fun of Nazis is an absolute no-no. <laughs> is that what you're telling us? Don't make fun of Nazis. I, I, okay, I realize. People can indeed be charged with a hate crime for the offence of making fun of Nazis. And, and I'm hardly surprised that you concur with the Scottish courts on this matter. But I feel compelled, nevertheless, to ask how the hell you got, you got it into your head that this makes you anti-Nazi. <laughs> Admonishing people for making fun of Nazis is pro-Nazi. Arresting people for making fun of Nazis is aggressively pro-Nazi. You cannot spin it any other way, no matter how painfully you may try to. I'm making fun of you. Have you noticed? 
D does that make me pro you? <laughs> am I am I normalizing you by making fun of you? Would you like me to stop doing that as well? How did you survive your childhood? You bewildering ass bag. Neither of which helps the global crisis we have that takes thousands of lives every year. The, the, the global Nazi crisis we have that takes thousands of lives every... What are you talking about? What? Th this is not a rhetorical question here. Where in the world are thousands of people getting killed every year by Nazis? I can think of a few ideologies that do still kill thousands of innocent people on a brain-wobblingly regular basis. But something tells me if I named them, you'd call me a racist. And in the next breath, a Nazi. So what do we do? Prepare to meet your undertaker. That's easy. Don't make them morally equivalent. Oh, almost too easy. Don't make there be no in-game moral difference between your Nazis and your allies. Between your terrorists and your counter-terrorist squads. <laughs> like, I don't think people play <laughs> war simulation games in order to learn something about morality. I think they, I think they play them to have fun for the most part, but... Possibly they, they play them to learn something about strategy, to learn something about tactics. But that's where the fun is, IMHO. By the way, how how are we supposed to play Risk? What happens if, when someone conquers Germany? Do they go, oops! <laughs> now I'm literally Hitler! <laughs> Just to make sure this never happens again, let's get, we better get a scalpel and... <laughs> Remove a sort of Germany-shaped hole from the game board. <laughs> and then just pretend it was never there. Otherwise, thousands of people will die. <laughs> oh, CD. No, no. Okay, no. And, <laughs> and, is it not, and is it not problematic when playing an otherwise harmless role-play game to mandatorily have one player in the role of Dungeon Master? <laughs> Because what's a dungeon master? And it's mandatory. Like, someone has to do the dungeon master role. And does that not normalise medieval torture? <laughs> does it not encourage people to unexpectedly put an orc in someone's bedroom closet? <laughs> Why is there a bottomless pit in my sock drawer? Little Timmy's been playing Dungeons and Dragons again. <laughs> when... Oh, God. When... When children play with toys... Right? I don't know why I have to explain this to you. <laughs> when children play with toys, especially toys resembling heroes and fictional role models they, they admire, you'll find it's very common for one kid to go, I want to play the goodies, so you have to play the baddies. And the other kid doesn't mind playing the baddies sometimes, even if for the most part they'd rather play the goodies. They understand that good requires evil for a conflict to play out. And they are, unlike your good self, sir, they are mature enough, even at an early age, to play as Skeletor and not become Skeletor. And now they die. Messily. Frame PvP as a training exercise. Yeah, it is a training exercise, a tactical strategic exercise, a team building exercise, uh, and a sort of hand-eye coordination exercise, but not necessarily a moral exercise, as I said. Although, I, ah, I suppose there is a moral lesson to be learned here, and it's that old saying that goes, walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Be it your friend or your enemy, you would do well to know them. And whether your intentions are compassionate or murderous, it's, it is a helpful exercise in moral orientation to try and see the world through someone else's eyes. I'm screaming into the well again, aren't I? What am I talking about? We don't need to understand people. We just, we just need to erase them from history along with everything else vaguely controversial. Don't make fun of anything. That way nothing will be normalized. <laughs> you, sir, are a jelly baby. <laughs> One of the crappy yellow ones that no one likes. Or simply take one of your non-odious sides and recolor them so that it's red versus blue, rather than axis versus allies. 
<laughs> you don't have any problem at all with the military normalization of reds. <laughs> I am so verily shocked. Allow players to choose which side they're on. Good call. I allow players to choose which side they're on. Check it out. I am not on your side regarding this issue. Are you okay with that? I'm choosing a side and it is not you. I am firmly on the side of the argument that says you can program a video game however the flapping fuck you want to. And you need to listen to human mankini stains like this guy telling you a thousand and one irrelevant things not to do with your game. Don't, 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 no one should, no one should, we should never, no longer, no longer, no longer, you can't, you can't, and you can't, and it can't, it can't, please stop, 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 stop. Sure. Do you see why you got so many downloads? Do you see why so many people are pissed off at you? They're trying their college best with all the information they've got. They're trying to see if they can figure out who the fuck you think you are. The fucking Fuhrer? They have no answer to this. But what we are saying is that the fact that you're playing as a Nazi or a terrorist in a game has to mean something. You have made your final mistake. You know what would help quite a lot if that sentence meant something? It didn't. The fuck do you mean playing as a Nazi has to mean something? Here you go. It means the Jews are a brood of vipers and they should be genocided. Woohoo! Thanks for the advice, extra credits. Now my game is meaningful. <laughs> You gaunt lashing of sour bones and tripe. Where are your papers? <laughs> I knew that would be funny wherever I put it. And really, if we are saying anything in this episode, it's this. Games can do better. That's fine! Games are already better. Games will continue to get better in every way they can and need to, because that is how markets work and that is how technologies work. Nobody in this very much booming industry needs any help from you or any other misguided moral busybodies lapping as the goodies. Thanks for the input. I appreciate it. We all do. No, really. And I won't tell you to stop. You do you. And so on and so forth. And I regret to inform you that it's a thanks but no thanks. If I'm saying anything in this video, it's that games do not need to be any better than they are already achieving. You, sir, need to stick your dick between your legs and cluck and fuck right off. Or if you prefer it in a language you understand, don't, don't, nobody, don't, no, no, stop, never, never, no, don't stop. Blah, blah, blah. I've just realized you sound like you're being raped. Sorry if you are. <laughs> Black dog, pig dogs. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Oh, they cheated. <laughs>